Adrian, uh, congratulations, first of all, on being at K-State. What do you like best about K-State? Yeah, uh, I would say the culture. Um, and for me, that's the coaches, the players. There's a real sense of camaraderie here. Um, and that's something that I was looking for in the process of finding a new school and um, what I found here. What, what do you see as maybe your biggest challenge as you come into the program? Uh, there's, there's a number of challenges, um, but that's part of what I was looking forward to. I, I needed a new challenge. Uh, one of those things is overcoming my injury, um, going through the rehab process, finding ways to get involved in the weight room while I'm doing uh, maybe a little bit different lift than some of the other guys. Um, part of that's a, from a leadership aspect, part of it's from a physical aspect, so uh, adjusting on both of those fronts. And you haven't taken a snap yet, but how dangerous could that combo be between you and Deuce if that were to play out? Yeah, I mean, shoot, Deuce is an All-American. I think there are a lot of guys who uh, who would love to play beside him, and uh, I'm, I'm really excited about what that can look like and what we could do together in an offense. Adrian, can you walk us through the, the process of, of you picking K-State? Obviously, I know you had some, some personal connections here that, that kind of – Help help bridge the gap. Just kind of walk us through your process. Yeah, well, the the portal, um, if you will, was pretty hectic. Um, but I, I I wasn't looking for a school that uh, was about the hype. It wasn't a uh, strictly personal decision. It was it was about business for me. And one of my goals is to make it to the NFL. And in my mind, K State gave me the best option to do that. Um, with a really good culture, a really good program, a good team, good guys. Uh, in an offense, I felt like I could fit in and thrive and show some some skills of mine that I haven't been able to display necessarily. And um, that's what it was about for me. So there, there's a process um, sort of comparing different schools, this and that, but K-State was at the top at, in every category for me. You walked me right into my question. What are the skills that you need to work on to get to the next level? Yeah, um, for me, it, it's going to be a mixture of things. I think every quarterback is in the offseason is working to get better, obviously. Um, for me, it needs to be about this decision making, uh, turning over the ball, so ball security. And those are things I'm going to continue to work on here. Um, what it looks like is just hopping in the film room you know, every day. Um, and also, one of the other challenges will be getting to know these guys and becoming a leader. And those are all things I'm, I'm working on and in the process of doing. In your time north of here, did you find yourself maybe pressing to make the big play to get over the hump in so many close games? Yeah, you know, that, that's part of it. But shoot, it's about playing football. And uh, I wouldn't necessarily label it one thing or another. Um, I will say I, I just need to get better, and I will get better. Hey, so what? What are your what have your first impressions of Manhattan and Kansas State been? Uh, well, I had actually come down a couple times to watch my girlfriend play soccer, and uh, I love it. It's it's truly a college town feel for me, um, with the Midwest vibe as far as the people. Everyone's really genuine, and I like that a lot. And uh, I've enjoyed my time so far. And when you look at the offense, Colin Klein plans to run here. What most excites you about being a part of it? Yeah, I would say it's a lot more simil similar to NFL type schemes um, and in the way we, we go about things. But with Coach Collin at, at the head there, offensive coordinator, uh, I think he's going to bring in some, some spread elements that I'm more used to coming from Nebraska. And maybe we'll mix in some tempo stuff. And uh, I think it'll really complement the already existing offense that they had. Do you have a target date yet for when you expect to be good to go, fully cleared for whatever they ask you to do? Uh, not particularly. Um, I want to ensure I'll be able to play in the fall, and that's the biggest thing. There's no point in rushing back and risking me not being ready to play in the fall. How big of a, an impact would you say playing for a coach like Colin Klein at the quarterback spot was for you uh, with what he did in his time here and then with him stepping up to the offensive coordinator position now? Yeah, absolutely. It, it was a, definitely a big factor for me. Um, I loved my position, position coach in Nebraska, and uh, I wanted a, a relationship similar to that wherever I was going to end up. And I felt like Coach Collin could give me that. Um, in addition to being a really bright, 
solid football coach. Um, and yeah, he, he had a tremendous amount of success here. He knows what it looks like to win here. And um, he's a guy who can pick his brain 24 seven. Between uh, Cade and, and, and Will going up here, have you enjoyed having some, some fellow former Huskers around? Yeah, friendly faces for sure. Um, those are two guys that were some of my closer friends at Nebraska. Uh, two really bright guys, good football players. And uh, for me, that's helped the transition a little bit, coming to a new place. Adrian, how do you build a rapport with your receivers without being able to get on, out on the field and, and connect with them literally? Definitely. Well, it's, it's about forming those relationships. And, and that do, doesn't always look like running routes on a field and throwing the ball, but I can still be there. My presence can still be there. Um, film room, uh, getting to know them off the field, outside of the stadium, those are the things. And, and that takes time. It won't happen overnight. But those are the things I'm, I'm trying to actively do to make sure that that relationship is there. And how have you embraced, you mentioned it earlier, the Midwestern culture, being a guy from Fresno. In what ways have you embraced those over the five years you've been in Nebraska? In what ways have I embraced it? Yeah. Um, I would say my, my personality is a much better match uh, for the Midwest. Um, I, I feel a little bit more at home here. And for me, <laughs> um, it's a little bit slower pace, uh, which I like. It's a little bit more open, less crowded. And, uh, you know, I think Manhattan is, is definitely that. So, Adrian, for some people who may not have gotten a chance to watch you play that much, specifically the fans, how would you describe your style of game? Yeah, well... Uh, I really do think I epitomize a dual threat quarterback. Um, I feel strong about my ability to throw the ball and run it. Uh, running is definitely a part of my game. It's something I'm looking to do maybe a little bit less here, uh, in all honesty, but something that does provide a, a spark, I think, to the offensive side of the ball. And, uh, you know, I try and make plays. Um, and the next evolution of that is make plays and turn over the ball less. So. I mean, you, you kind of touched on Deuce Vaughn a little bit, but I'm just curious, how much of a factor was him being here? Did that have an impact on you when you were going through and making your decision? Without a doubt. I mean, my philosophy and something that I've been taught is, is the quarterback is one cog in the wheel of success of, or failure. So without the surrounding cast, um, it means nothing. So Deuce Vaughn, I mean... It, and other guys on the offensive unit, the offensive line, the coordinator, the head coach, it's really a, a system of people that result in success. So Deuce, of course, but also some other guys as well. And then the last question I have is, obviously you mentioned you had been down here a few times, but before you really start to know, you started to know about K-State, what were your uh, maybe initial impressions? Mm. Um, before I had gotten to, yeah, well, um, I would heard a little bit from Cade just – because we, we kept in touch, and uh, I heard about the camaraderie and how close this team was. Um, and some of the, the little details about how they reacted or how they handled certain situations that I, I was really impressed by. Um, so I'd heard nothing but good things going into the recruiting process. Anything else? Agent, you mentioned you know lowering your turnover, turnover rate being a big goal at Kansas State. How would you explain the, the numbers that you did have in Nebraska and why at times you did turn it over? Yeah, um, I would say that's one of the goals, not, not necessarily the main goal. I think that's just a, a good determinant of, of future success. And uh, for me, it's, it, it also ties to the decision making. Um, being a little bit, I don't want to use the word safer, but more secure with the ball um, when running it. And I think running it a little bit less will also help that for me. Um, being able to depend on a back like Deuce to run the ball and um, the different elements we're going to have in our offense are all part of that uh, development for me. But um, it just comes down to practice and making sure it's a conscious effort.